What's going on guys, Clayic here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video, and this is going to be my first impressions of the Halloween event. Essentially, because it's a new banner with new units, I'll get into that in a minute, I'm not going to be able to do my normal banner review before they are released, unless somehow somebody can data hack in there, data mine, and give me the abilities and give me the stats overall for the character. So, uh, if you guys want to wait and watch my review before you guys pull, that's going to come out around Friday or Saturday due to the fact that I have to get the data for people actually leveling up the units or if I get lucky enough to pull them. I'll, I'll go over everything I can. So we'll go over the uh, four characters that are on the new Halloween banner. First off, I'd like to say these are global exclusive units. They are not the same unit whatsoever of their counterparts and they have new everything. Okay, guys, so we have Demon Rain and Demon Rain's coming in at a uh, five star base. And Draco Laswell coming in at a 5 star base, guys. So they can go up to 6 star, but you're going to have to the Rainbow Crystal to drop for him. The uh, Rain, obviously, is more of a tanky unit. The things we know about him from uh, the data mine that we do have is some, he's going to be able to enhance attack and magic of all allies, but in his 6 star version of his normal form, he's actually going to be able to raise up like attack, magic, spirit, and defense or something like that. It's called leader, leadership or something. So already, Demon Rain's looking not as good as the other one, but again, we don't know how the way it's going to look in the future. You know, we don't know how it's going to look when it actually comes out on Friday. Uh, great chance of counter and guarding skills so a tank he gets a tank encountering and guarding and he learns double hand and the reason I think that's kind of weird double hands cool and we're gonna figure out if double hand will stack like if, if a character has double hand and then we equip double hand down here if that'll stack or if it's not gonna stack we're gonna be able to figure that out if somebody gets this guy levels him up but on a tank I don't know how I feel about putting double hand on him you know you kind of want your tanks to have a shield uh, it kind of seems like he wants to do a lot of different stuff he wants to uh, you know, do some damage. He has some uh, support skills, which is fine. And then he wants to uh, he wants to tank too. And his his defense isn't very high. He has a TM called the Infernal Armlet. Attack and defense twenty percent. Fire Earth resistance twenty percent. Pretty damn good TM. It is an accessory, so it's definitely going to replace any hero rings you have left. And depending on the unit that you're using it on, it's going to uh, you know it's going to replace even maybe even Gafgarians. Uh, TM, you know, we have to wait and see. Okay, Jericho Laswell is more of an attack unit. Uh, you know, again, he can go to the six star. Apparently, they have, he has a very low chance of being targeted. It's supposed to be play off the whole vampire theme where he can, like, turn into a bat and fly away, stuff like that. Life draining and powerful AoE skills. Obviously, going with the vampire theme here. AoE skills. And he can, he's great at weakening units, is what I have here. So, I'm um, assuming he might have full break or some other kinds of breaks. He has AoE skills. He does have a really high attack stat. We'll get into that more in my actual review of the characters. Moving on to White Witch Fina, which talking about how all these guys look, I was very disappointed. We'll just stop the video right here. I was very disappointed about how they came out with these. They don't look as cool as I thought they were going to look. It looks like someone just took the plaster of the gift down of the character, the sprite, and then started like nailing these things on top of them and just making them as big as possible. Like, Rain's like horns are huge uh the witch uh white witch finna has like a huge like crayon on top of her head uh black cat lid and draco laswell not that bad but again nothing like i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be way cooler than that you know they should have had some kind of uh jack-o-lantern theme something or i don't know anyway moving on to white witch finna she's gonna come in at four star going all the way up to six star she is our first four star then go up to six star so four star base going up to six star snow will also be that way she has a pretty good tn called blessed bow Attack plus 80, spirit plus 40, bird and undead killer. So this bow is actually even better for Artemios than the other killer bow that we get. So you got to take that in mind. Um, <clears throat> apparently they told us, you know, in the whole character review here on the side. High spirit and MP, learns rays, can heal and recover MP for allies. So she's not going to be able to heal and recover MP for herself, which she still may be better than Lena because she's the first six star healer we could get. However, until I get my hands on her and look at her, I'm not going to know that. And if she can't heal herself, you know, I don't know. She's the one, that, like, I don't know. She, it's going to be weird. I mean, if you have Cecil, maybe he can help you uh, heal also. But we'll have to wait and see. Black Cat Lid coming in at 3-star. Uh, uh, base going up to 5-star. Just, you, you don't want to use this character. If, if it's coming in at 3-star base going all the way up to 5-star with all these other characters going to 6-star. With the 6-star meta, I don't think it's going to be that good. However, we can look into it when it comes out. Uh, apparently can inflict random status elements, which like anything RNG in this game is not gonna be good for you I'll tell you that right now anything that has like random or a percentage like <clears throat> You don't want that you want to you want to control the battle and know exactly you'll be as precise and uh, Exact as you can be uh, can deal massive unmitigated damage now Maybe black cat lid is gonna do massive unmitigated damage like a claw scratch attack or something And that's gonna help her out and make her do OP damage who knows we don't know where she's gonna stack up in the race till we see it the TM for black cat lid cat hat it's actually a really good hat Defense plus 15, magic and spirit plus 20, 
MP plus 25 and nullify silence. So, you know, I'd want to throw that on some of my mages, perhaps throw it on my, uh, on my healers, my supports, but uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, again, we'll go over a full review. This is just my first impressions. Overall, I think uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's kind of lackluster right now. Now, I have to see the stats, but I'm very disappointed with the way they look. I'm very disappointed with, you know, their stats in a way. I mean, Laswell has a lot of attack, and Rain has a lot of, of uh, health. But, you know, for a tank, you kind of want defense to go hand-in-hand -hand with that health. And we just had Cecil, right? We just, you, you could still summon Cecil right now. And Cecil is probably like 10 times the man Demon Rain is. But maybe Demon Rain is just trying to be like a tanky DPS. Like, or damage dealer. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Uh, moving on, there is an event. The event is Halloween Night of the Pumpkin, as you can see behind me. That's what I have as my backdrop here. Uh, it's going to be si similar to the Final Fantasy Tactics event, where you're going to collect a certain type of material. And it's going to be... Candy corn this time instead of aura sight. So you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run through. Uh, we're gonna have some explorations you can go through that you'll have to complete. We're gonna have some, you know, some actual dungeons you'll go through. I think it only goes up to pro, um, and you'll just go through. You'll fight. You'll collect candy corn. Uh, you know, keep racking that up. You'll go to the king mog. Where this is where you guys are gonna be able to get six star materials again. Okay, you're gonna be able to get those six star materials and uh, you know do what you need to do with those. Let me get your Cecil up there. Maybe if you pull uh, the rain finna or Laswell, you might want to make them six. Star. But remember, if you guys were missing out on the six star materials, now's the chance to grind, get them, maybe save a backlog of some, maybe have a whole bunch of them, you know, saved up. So if you get another character, you can boom, make them six star instantly. We're gonna be able to get star quartz, some summoning, uh, excuse me, some summoning tickets, and we have some like cool event like swag we can get from this. We have the candy basket, which is an accessory, 15% magic, SPR 15%, and the ability treat, which I think just heals an ally or something. Pretty damn good accessory. 15% uh, magic is obviously better than the 10% that the hero ring will give you. Creepy mask, uh, it's a hat. Uh, defense plus 15, magic plus 30, holy shit guys. MP plus 50% and the ability boo, which you guys, the ability boo is just whatever. Uh, the magic plus 30, it just makes it the best hat, like, we will have forever, I think. I don't even think there's a better hat in the JP version. So, Creepy Mask, definitely want to get that. Super good on mages. The Kitchen Knife, Dagger. Um, yeah, this knife, uh, this dagger is an attack 52 and has the ability Stab, which if you guys know, Tonberry obviously gets up in your face, Stab. That's what it's going to do. It's going to do massive unmitigated damage. We don't know how strong that's going to be. And then we have two materia you can get. But these materia can only be equipped to uh, the actual spooky ghost Halloween units, okay? So you can only put these on uh, Draco, Laswell, um, Demon Rain, White Witch Fena, and Black Cat Lid, okay? So we have Chilling Aura, given HP 13%, MP 13%. Pretty damn good materia for the HP 13 and the MP 13. But again, you can only put them on those units, so take it as you will. If you get the units, that's, you're going to be wanting to get these. And Spooky Aura um, gives you uh, attack 13% and magic 13%. Again, amazing. Uh, you know, getting that magic 13 and that attack 13, but you can only put it on those uh, four units from the banner. Okay, to sum up my thoughts on this event, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's uh, if it's a little less fun because of how the units look. I think for the most part, the the community didn't really like them too much. Um, I will have a uh, when the guide is uh, when the excuse me when the event comes out and the you know the characters are released and people actually have the stats on uh, some kind of site, maybe the wiki or Reddit. I will have my guide up, or if I pull them and I level them up. I am a little upset that they're uh, releasing this event and they're releasing it with the Gill Snapper event again for the weekend, guys, because I need Metal Gigantor. I'm sure you guys need Metal Gigantor to level up your units. I don't know what they're doing. Please give us Metal Gigantor units. I think they're doing it on purpose. I don't know. Uh, I guess the next week. So this event's going to run for two weeks. I'm assuming it's like this weekend's going to be the Gill Snapper and hopefully next week is the uh, Metal Cactuar event. But that's my uh, first impressions of this. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys do too. There are some really great things you can get from this. Uh, you know, like the six star materials. Uh, the units, I think, somewhat of a disappointment. We'll have to wait and see how strong they are. But as far as they look and aesthetically, they're not that pleasing to me. Uh, but if this video helped you guys out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with your thoughts on the Halloween events and the Halloween characters. And subscribe for future uh, event guides, things like that. Uh, I'll be getting those out again as soon as I can. We'll see you later.